Ma! Ma, are you there? I ain't talking to you no more, Tony. You shame your Sicilian roots. After you took that photo of Casa, he stopped paying his protection money. And what are you doing about it? Nothing! Your father would have turned him into meatballs by now. Casa might be a bit funny, but it takes guts to snub a Cipriani. I only wish you had his guts. You wish I had Cass's guts? Okay, Ma, you asked for him. You know, I also wish I had Giovanni's guts because I hear that whenever you're inflicted with a status condition, uh, such as being paralyzed, burned, or poisoned, your attack stat gets increased. And even sometimes the guy will hold one of those status orbs so he gets inflicted with poison or burn, and then, you know, he gets the buff pretty much for free. So, yeah, we're gonna confront Casa on this business here. I'm quite interested now. Hi, Tony. How you doing? What's up? You and me are gonna talk, Casa. Just somewhere more private. So we got a bit of foreshadowing here as uh, we have a cop inside of Giovanni's deli, so you can kind of guess as to what we might be doing with a bit later on, but for right now, though, uh, Giovanni willingly tags along with us, although, you know, really he could have said, Sir? I don't know what you're talking about or whatever, you know, because there's a cop in there. He could have hid behind the cop, but nah, Giovanni's being the man. He's going to tag along with us to this uh, creepy warehouse that Tony, for whatever reason, has access to. So, yeah, good stuff there. And let me tell you, this mission uh, is a huge pain in the ass if it doesn't go favorably, because you can be chasing Giovanni inside of this warehouse for hours, it seems. So, uh, what do you want to talk about, Tony? Is it the protection money? It is, isn't it? Tony? Uh, we can talk about this, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah, talking is good. People just don't talk enough these days, Tony. Stand there and shut your yap, Casa. Yeah, okay, Tony, but I don't feel comfortable. Hey, easy with that, Tony. It's, it's the on switch for the... No! So I got some advice right here, because this mission isn't all gits and shiggles like that cutscene that we just saw there, which was hilarious stuff, but, you know, it's like for this part of the mission, you've, you've got to make sure to, to chase Giovanni, but lag behind a little bit, you know, uh, don't be right up on his ass, because you want to force him into a position to where there's three ways to approach him. He's going to start squatting at a lot of positions to where there's only two ways of getting to him, so... Um, you just gotta kinda keep chasing them around, and you know, again, don't get too close to him. You can see right there, perfect positioning. Perfect, because you can approach him from the front, from his left, or from behind. So, there's, there's our three different spots to approach him. So, we're obviously going to kinda work our way to behind him, to where he's not looking, and then start slapping his ass. Can't we be civilized about this, Tony? So that's a pretty gruesome scene right there, just seeing Tony hack away at Giovanni over and over again. Man, that's you know, some pretty dark stuff. Although this game overall isn't that dark, but literally it is a dark game because <laughs> it's like a, I have the brightness turned up all the way, but it's still pretty uh, gloomy looking. Uh, and you know, maybe that's what they were going for. But um, the thing that kind of sucks about this game being so literally dark is that um, at night in game. Um, you really can't see a whole lot of anything, so I have to do a lot of these missions in-game during the day um, in order for you to be able to see anything, because you might be thinking, well, indoors, it really wouldn't matter that much for, like, cutscenes or whatever, but um, the thing about it is that the lighting is affected by whether it's day or night, even indoors. Like, it's really weird at how it works, but it's something that you kind of have to get around, I guess. Uh, and speaking of getting around things, we kind of gotta, gotta, gotta squeeze right in there uh, to to get past those cars, but anyways, uh, I collected police bribes instead of going to the pay and spray. And there's actually a second police bribe right here, just in case you need it. Special sausage meat delivery? No one told me about this. Whoa! Which zoo did we knock off this time? There's loads of meat back here. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I'll take them. It's a good thing Casa ain't here. If he finds out about this, he'll go crazy. I like how that surfer dude bro just kind of dives right in and eating that raw meat, you know? It's, 
it's pretty funny stuff but anyways that that completes this part and that completes the saga of giovanni casa so you know, there you there you go now now people are shooting at me crazy sundakas so yeah i gotta get out of here so that completes this part in the next part we'll be doing the mission called no son of mine so until then i will see you next time <laughs>